What I understood from Dr. Christopher is that 70% of our fecal matter is made of dead bacteria. I also understood that our breath in the morning before brushing our teeth should not smell like rotten food. If that happens, one cause might be that your intestines are covered in dead bacteria, which is why you assimilate only 10% of the food you eat. Dr. Christopher made a mixture of herbs called the lower bowel formula. He said a fast way to clean your intestines in only three days is to drink prune juice and to take three times a day two capsules of lower bowel formula followed by two tablespoons of olive oil. In my opinion that is too aggressive but I gave my parents two capsules of lower bowel formula three times a day while they were still eating once a day and not drinking prune juice. They both had intestinal pain after three days. Maybe they had pain because they only ate breakfast and I did not give them olive oil later on with the pills. Personally, I prefer to take two pills of lower bowel formula in the morning and two in the evening along with 15 drops of liquid lower bowel formula each time. 15 drops is equivalent to one capsule of the powder. I feel fine with this dose and my parents feel fine as well. I prefer the liquid because I think liquid might be uniform distributed in the intestines. We have a bowel movement 30 minutes after we take the dose and we do not have to use toilet paper. Dr. Gundry says a person with healthy intestines does not have to use toilet paper after a bowel movement. So even if you do not have a healthy intestine, while taking the lower bowel formula, your intestines behave just like healthy intestines do. The only thing you have to take into consideration is that this lower bowel formula is meant to cure the intestines, not to keep them healthy. The moment you are cured, you stop taking it. Most people were cured in four weeks. But I'm warning you, in case you need more time, you should not take this treatment for more than six weeks a year. Dr. Christopher says you should stop the treatment after you eliminate something that resembles rubber. I've seen people showing something like that on YouTube. They call it mucoid plaque and say you can eliminate the plaque if you drink bentonite clay, psyllium husk and chia seeds diluted in water on an empty stomach twice a day. I've tried that recipe but it made me very constipated. Probably because I am already dehydrated. If you prefer a pill that doesn't come with a warning, I recommend Serapeptase. Serapeptase is an enzyme used to get rid of old scars. Therefore, in case your intestines have an old injury, the enzymes found in Serapeptase will eat that scar tissue and force your body to heal again that injury. But you have to take Serapeptase on an empty stomach and to keep your stomach empty for another one or two hours after you took the Serapeptase. If you take Serapeptase with food, the enzymes will digest the food you eat instead of the old scar tissue. But of course, if you have undigested food, 
in your intestines, cerebrapeptase will digest that old undigested food found in the intestines and therefore improve your digestion and clear your intestines. From experience, I've noticed I have to take cerebrapeptase when I wake up and before I go to bed. I have been taking natosera and sera gold. Natosera has 40,000 units of cerebrapeptase, while Sera Gold has a hundred thousand units. They both have the same effect on me. Even if Sera Gold has more than double the amount of Sera Peptase than Nato Sera has, I still have to take it twice a day. If you do not wish to take any pills, castor oil is what you're looking for. Castor oil removes built up toxins from the area it reaches. I had blackheads a few months ago after eating pork every day for three months. I managed to remove the blackheads and shrunk my pores with castor oil. That is how I got the idea that castor oil removes built up toxins. As well, Dr. Barbara O'Neill says we should apply castor oil on the tummy in order to eliminate old toxins and inflammation from the intestines. I love using castor oil, not only on the tummy, but as full body massage oil in order to remove old toxins. In conclusion, I take serapeptase five days a week not only to help me have a bowel movement, but for everything Serapip does it does. As a rule, I never take pills during the weekend. I took the lower bowel formula for a few weeks, but my fecal matter has never resembled rubber. I took a break from lower bowel formula, and even if I'm not using it now, I still never have to use toilet paper after a bowel movement. When I wish to take a break from pills, I apply castor oil on the tummy for one hour and I'll show you how it is done. So all you have to do is just place a piece of plastic, I'm using a plastic bag and a piece of cloth and castor oil on it. I just place castor oil. This is castor oil here. And then place this on your tummy. Pretty much where you have uh, an issue. This is a digestive issue, so I place it around the intestines. But if you have a PCOS around this area and then you place a heating pad I'm using a um, heated massage bed so this is heated and you just sit like this for for about an hour because heat makes the oil penetrate the skin faster you want the castor oil to enter um, the skin, penetrate the skin and get to the intestines in order to remove any gunk accumulated or you want the castor oil to reach the ovaries in case you have PCOS in order to remove any toxins accumulated there because castor oil uh, removes toxins accumulated. It doesn't matter how old it is. It helps remove it. So in this case, um, the castor oil, it fixes digestion. And um, you can use a heated pad 
place it on your tummy or you can uh, heat up salt and you place it in a towel you place the salt on a towel on top and you sit like this for one hour alternatively if you don't want to do that you can just uh, wear it underneath your clothes so you just put your clothes on and you wear it all day long but that's too messy in my opinion so I just prefer to do it for one hour a day and that's it <laughs>